Hello, I'm John from Robert White Photographic and in today's short little video I'd like to explain to you how the Lee filter system for their 100mm setup works. Uh, there are a few systems available by Lee, but the, the largest range and the most popular is our 100mm system, mainly for DSLRs, medium format, large format. They also do a smaller system called 75 or RF75, which is we have separate video for, which is based for compact rangefinder style cameras, a smaller system. And they also do an SW150 setup, which at the moment is specific for the Nikon 14-24. So here I have today a uh, Canon EOS 5D Mark II fitted with a Zeiss 21ZE lens. And I'm going to put the leaf filter system on there, but hopefully I'm going to explain some of the difference with the adapter rings and some of the problems we, we face. The first thing that a lot of people get confused with is regarding the adapter rings. The main thing you need to know is, firstly, the front filter thread of your lens. Now this lens is 82mm. It's also a wide angle. Now we say that any lens on a 35mm full frame camera that's 35mm or below, we would like to sell you a wide angle adapter ring. It just brings the holder back slightly, it's just a better option for the wide uses. Now here I have two rings. Now these are two 82 rings. I've got a standard and a wide angle. Now they're very similar, all metal construction in the 82. The 82 watt standard ring has the filter thread on the back of it, which you may be able to see here from the camera, but the wide angle ring has it recessed. Now what this does is it brings the holder back further, which is essential for wide angle lenses. Now a lot of people say, well why do they make two rings? Well generally that's purely down to cost. A standard ring in most cases is half the price of a wide angle ring. Not always the case, in the case of the 82 they're very similar, there's a lot of similar engineering involved so they cost very similar. Um, the other misconception, you can use wide angle rings on longer focal length lenses. So in a lot, if you're unsure of maybe what lens you buy in the future, if you go for the wide angle versions you have no problems. Now I'm going to fit this onto the lens here what you will find is that this Zeiss lens has some lugs for the lens hook. The ring goes straight over that and bolts on. Now, the ring is straight onto the lens in this case. Some people will have a UV filter or a protection filter in place. You can leave it in place if you wish to, but on wide lenses you can very quickly run out of space. So, if you've got the 21, you might want to play, see what you get. If you go down to 18, 17 mil, you're probably going to have to remove the filter to avoid problems. Now, to add to this, I'm going to put the foundation kit. Now, the foundation kit is their standard holder for the 100 mil system. They do, currently do three holders, foundation kit, professional kit, and upgrade kit. In all cases, the actual filter holder section is the same. It's a foundation kit. When you buy a professional kit, you are effectively getting two foundation kits, and this item, which is called a tandem adapter ring. This slots into on the, hold, the front slot of the back holder, and this replicates the fitting which another holder would clip into. You can then rotate the two independently of each other. Now that's a very thick option, and, and you really need to be using it on standard lenses or longer. A wide angle option, you will get vignetting, but it is an option. An upgrade kit is purely a foundation kit with a tandem adapter. So with an upgrade kit, you can make a foundation kit into a professional kit. Now, the, the, the holder has got a spring-loaded catch on here, and we simply locate the lugs and pull on the catch, and the holder is fitted into position. You can adjust the tension as well, so you can rotate it. If you, don't, if you need to put the grads on a certain position, you can do so. I've got a grad filter here. Uh, this is a 0.9 grad hard, and that simply slots in to the holder like so, and looking through the viewfinder, you would adjust the relevant position. Now the only other option that people often talk to us about is using a polarizer. Uh, polarizer should always be on the front. The light should go through the polarizer first, then through the grass into the lens. Uh, many people have been putting polarizers on the lens first, and then screwing the system in the front. It's the wrong way to do it and you can have issues. Lee make a couple of options. They do a square polarizer which you can slot in. Um, however, of course, you can't change the position without, you could rotate the holder, but you will affect the grad position. Or you can get a 105 millimeter screw on polarizer that goes to the front uh, with the aid of an adapter ring, uh, which is this little item here, which is called a front holder ring. We'll show you a separate video of how that fits and how you use it, but effectively, you simply, undo these screws here, 
put the holder ring in front and put the screws back in through the holder. And as the holes are recessed, you don't actually need to buy any other screws. The screws that come with the holder will work fine. So that will come in a separate video. I hope you can see how simple the system is. It doesn't need to be a scary minefield, but if you have any doubts at all, you can email us. We're, we're very used to giving quotes on different setups and know what will and won't work. So please email us at sales at robertwhite.co.uk or visit our website, which is robertwhite.co.uk. So I hope you found this very useful and thank you very much.